well, it's still there. Of course it's still bloody there, it hasn't gone on holiday, has it? It starts from about 1200 RPM, 1200 odd RPM. You, the engine's smooth, then you get a slight and then it smooths out again. So it's smooth and then smooths out again. And all of this is below 2000 RPM. Let me do another sample. Rattles at about 1200, irons itself out, and then the rattle comes back. And I, I don't know what happens after that because you lose it through the engine noise and everything. But they're definitely rattling. Welcome back everybody. Looks like autumn's kicking in, eh? Right, back with the noisy head. And yes, the hydraulic lifters are still making a noise. And I was told by a mechanic to go and get some of this stuff, this um, hydraulic valve lifter treatment. You mix it in with the oil, yeah, run the engine, done about 50 odd miles, and then change the oil. And I asked around about this, you know, the oil, what sort of oil should a high mileage one of these have? Because usually, yeah, they're 530, I know it's 530. But I was told by a couple of mechanics, including VW, maybe try some 540. So we got the normal standard default Volkswagen stuff, that Quantum oil 540 that comes in a box, that comes in a plastic bag, and it's right awkward to get in, into, your, into your filler. Since putting the 540 in here, it, it feels a bit smoother, but you know, obviously we've still got problems. And oh yeah, my magnetic sump plug. Got a magnetic sump plug, M amazing thing. Very, very strong. And only about, I don't know, what's a normal sump plug? About a fiver. This was only about 11, 12 pounds and you get loads of spare washers with it for loads of oil changes. If anyone out there, I mean, I'll travel all of England, I don't mind. I, I could have done this head ages ago. I've had two mechanics offer me, you know, the job. It's not very expensive, it's a Volkswagen. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've kind of delayed it because I thought, well, the head's got to come off. The camshafts have to be slid out. So why not look for some, I don't know, some nice mild road race cams you know i wouldn't mind i used to do things like that back in the day back when i was a young man we didn't have turbos and stuff like that the work we used to do was on heads so i know the effect of a couple of mild road race cams mild ones well while the head's got to come off why not so if anyone out there uh, knows anybody i'll travel all of England like I said um, yeah send me a message send me a PM you could put it in the comments I don't mind but yeah well, I'm gonna hang on I'm gonna hang on until I find a mechanic that can say right we can do this and that maybe some ported porting going on yeah and while I've got the engine bay open a couple of other bits that I've done was uh, the timing belts. Got a timing belt kit and that comes with a water pump as well uh, by Continental of all people. I mean Continental for all these years I just thought made tyres but lo and behold timing belt kits as well. If my eyes look a little bit puffy today, it's because they probably are. I bought a dozen beers, went home and drank 11 of them. By the time I got to the 748 one, I wasn't even thinking where did number 12 go until I was setting up the cameras here just now. 
And I found number 12. Lovely beer, this. Red Stripe, the beer in the short, stubby, ugly bottle. If ugly people stand next to a Red Stripe, they look beautiful. Ah. Red Stripe. So I guess I had the opposite of a baker's dozen. Makes sense. Right, another new thing I got were these grooved and drilled brake discs. These are Piranha. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, I haven't. Piranha brake discs and I'm sure these used to come in a Brembo packaging because uh, I, I bought these for my first Lupo and they were, yes indeed, in Brembo packaging. The good thing about these discs is that the whole disc is painted, all of it. It's your brake pads that actually wear the paint off so therefore the rest of the disc is covered so with paint so you don't get that surface rust that always comes up around the hub area. They kind of make that that noise as you just brake, which I really like that. Reminds me, reminds me of the motorcycles I used to have. And like I said before, these used to come in Brembo packaging. I, I, I don't know, maybe they, it was a cheaper Brembo brand or something. It is only a couple of hundred quid, which if you run a BMW, 200 pounds for brakes is extremely cheap. So it's not only the discs, I thought I'd give the car a little treat and buy these um, Hell braided hoses. Uh, they've got metal inside so there's no expansion of the hose if the fluid heats up and expands. There's none, none of that going on and they're quite expensive but I, I do like them, it gives it a little bit of a flashy look and not really necessary for a car like this only unless you're going to start racing it quite expensive just under a hundred quid they gave me the wrong set for the back and i'm still yet to, to send them back to them I'll, I'll you know do that at some point in the future it's not urgent these red calipers need refurbishing uh, i took them off I ground down all the paint. They might made of like a, a cast aluminium and all the paint was just flaking off with that white powdery stuff underneath, that powdery effect that you get when aluminium corrodes. Scraped off as much as I could off of that. Put some cure rust on the aluminium just to protect whatever's there and painted them. Now, I admit these need to come off properly and to be sent away to get blasted, change the seals and then then paint them and they'll be absolutely glorious I'm sure but I, I, I don't have that option I can't take the car off the road for that long to send away four calipers but what I've done here it's okay it, this will last two or three years before they'll need doing again and We'll have another look at them, I suppose, after a few years and see about just taking them off and getting them completely refurbed. You know, I've got a car at home with more than four times the horsepower of the Lupo. 
not even two times the weight. Now we're near double the weight. I spend 95% of my driving time in that car. Don't you think that's a little odd? For all of you that subscribe to me, are you beginning to think that you could be watching somebody that's a little bit weird? Hmm. Only pulling your plonker, let's get on with it. Okay, and finally, I want to talk about these Cambridge Edition lights. Now, these lights here, they're almost twice the money of your standard Volkswagen lights. Now, and th these are VW as well. They're made by Corello. They're Volkswagen parts. But the, the way they make these is absolute crap. The original lights are much better. And I'll tell you why. I've had two sets of these, one on my old Lupo and one for this Lupo, and already I've had to change this back lens. Uh, the problem with these is that when they make them, they don't seal them properly. So what you get is you get water going there, and before you know it, you get a mini aquarium coming up to your reverse light. And that's exactly what happened to this. And I, I mean, I'm surprised the electrics didn't blow. My other Lupo suffered the same problem and exactly on the same side. And the, the way you can tell if that this is happening, if you don't see the little swimming pool going al along your back light, the way you can tell that this is happening is that this reverse light gets darker than the other side. If you notice one of your reverse lights is darker than the other side, then check because you could have a leak problem and that's just all the moss and shit that gets built up inside. But, replaced it. With this one, I put some headlight sealant on there before I put the light on. Now I know it looks a little bit messy, I have tried to trim it and make it a bit nicer, but I don't care about the mess, I just want the protection. And that's what it needs, it just needs a dab of headlight sealant, and then that should be okay. Remember, the way to tell is one reverse light darker than the other. Let's have a look. Yeah, they look about the same to me. It's hard to tell, but trust me, I've got photos where it really does stand out. And obviously, I mean, I've, I found I found the aquarium on the bottom of the lens, so definitely leaked, definitely had to come off. I want to thank you very much for watching the video, to all of you, whether you're subscribed to me or not. Thank you for watching the video. Makes a change instead of me writing it down here. I'll say it face to face. Take care. And next time I see you, it might just be in another one of my cars. If I can get round to it, because you know I'm a lazy git.
at the moment it's time out yeah because I need to have a smoke you know I'm I miss booting this car I've got to get that head done I miss booting this car <laughs> 